Plenty of concerns about the electric grid, not just nationally, but even here in Connecticut, especially over the last 10 years. Of course, plenty of price concerns. But remember, we've also had mass outages from extreme weather and then somewhat ironically, even concerns about power companies trimming too many trees to help avoid the next mass outage. And that's to say nothing of what future electric demand will look like, especially if electric cars get more popular. So a lot of worries, a lot of people to try to make happy. Are there some Solutions. Joining me now is the Vice President of the Electric Power Research Institute, Dr. Andrew Phillips. Doctor, thank you so much for joining me today. How are you? Great, thank you, Tim. Nice to be here. Yes, and glad to have you. As you could tell, a lot of different areas that we can cover. Don't have the time for it all, but uh, let's just talk about possible improvements to electric grid reliability. What is your organization doing to try to make that happen? Well, one of the key things that's happening at the moment is the increase in electric demand due to EVs, due to these to AI data centers. And what we need to do is increase the capacity of the grid. And so here in Charlotte, North Carolina, we are testing new advanced conductors that instead of being made with steel cores are being made with carbon fiber cores. And that allows us to go to existing lines, upgrade them and increase the capacity of those lines by almost twofold in some cases. And that's going to allow us to increase the capacity of the grid and account for all of these new electric loads that are coming on. Yes. Uh, you know, you just mentioned AI data centers. We've been reporting this morning that both Google and Amazon are going the nuclear route. Even Microsoft is looking at uh, buying power from Three Mile Island. Does that, uh, in your uh, group's opinion, seem like a, a good, clean way to increase the energy supply? Nuclear definitely has a role in providing clean and energy for, for society. But we can't rely only on nuclear. We're going to have to think of the entire mix. We're going to have to think of wind, solar, and gas to be a complete mix to provide us all of the power that we need. There's not just one solution to this problem. We have to think about them, all of them working together in a team and the transmission lines that are needed to interconnect them. To yeah. Uh, how about uh, you had mentioned electric vehicles as well. What specific challenges is that going to provide, not just for energy generation, but for transmission now, trying to get it into everybody's homes? What does the EPRI uh, do and sort of test and evaluate uh, for, for that uh, uh, on that level? Great. You know, EVs are a very interesting challenge. It all depends on the rate of adoption. And so the grid is able to absorb the amount of EVs that are being adopted at the moment. The question is, how fast does that adoption happen? Yeah. And so we are working on technologies to increase the capacity of the transmission system as well as the distribution system, ideas of how to get new cables underground in faster way and having higher capacity to try and, and adopt, to, to, to meet this, the new adoption yeah. rates. And hopefully keeping it cost effective, especially if you're talking about Absolutely. burying power lines. Uh, last question, doctor. What about restoring power after mass outage events? Like I said, we've had them here in Connecticut, seeing them down now North Carolina and Florida as well. What is being done on that front? So there are quite a few things that will be done. The first thing is new structures that when they fail, instead of a whole structure failing, just a small mechanical fuse failing so that the utility can come quickly replace that mechanical fuse and get the power back quickly. Hmm. Another thing that's being worked on is satellite technology where we can identify exactly where the outage is and get the line truck there directly with the right suppliers so that they can re restore power quickly. Okay, all right. Good to see that there's a lot of different, for lack of a better word, irons in the fire that EPRI and others are working on just to try to make our electric uh, overall infrastructure more robust and more resilient. Doctor, thank you so much for taking the time to join us this morning. I appreciate it. Have a wonderful day.